Hey guys, what's up? It's me here, Jay Pineapple, back again for another video. Today, we're going to be reviewing the Beyblade Burst Doom Sizer D2 and Unicrest U2 Double Pack. Of course, with the debut of Unicrest U2 inside of it. I mean, like, you know, first impressions on this pack. I mean, like, I think this pack has some pretty funky colours in it, to be honest. I really like the look of the Dark Death Scyther, or the Dark Doom Scyther, as Hasbro calls it. I do think that the Dark Doom Scyther does look pretty cool. I really do like the look of this uh, Uber Unicrest. I mean, like, you know, it looks really cool. I really do like these two bays. Uh, first of all, we'll just get into the packaging real quick. It says Beyblade Burst at the top here. Pretty nice. 8 plus there, you know. It has the two clashing, and it has the two names, and the app, of course, down there. Uh, I mean, like, up there, you know. This bat's obviously not down. <laughs> but anyway, looking here... You know, it's got performance top system, says Hasbro there. That's how you know it's legitimate. And of course, if you guys buy this inside of like a, a, a legit retail store, of course it's going to be legit, but you still need to have a look to see if the Hasbro logo is on the packaging or this card homie. Of course, if you guys look at the packaging, you guys will see the stats. Uh, these are the stats for Uber Unicrest. Now, keep in mind that is two for attack, two for. I believe that's burst, and that's like full defense, two for weight, one for agility, and three for stamina. Uh, for Doom Sizer, it's like, I think that's something like, is that 6? Six? 6 for attack, 3 for burst, 3 for weight. I think that's 6 for agility and 2 for stamina. Um, actually, I will not actually, I'm going to say this right now. I've, I've said it before in my, uh, in my Wyvern and, and uh, Odax review. Do not go by Hasbro stats, but, you know, uh, those are the stats that Hasbro puts on the bays. Uh, they're not very accurate, but anyway, let's go into detail. Let's go into this Doom Sizer first of all. I ex actually was really excited to get this Doom Sizer. Um, this was my first time having Doom Sizer, and I gotta say, this bay looks sick. Like I really, it, it, it looks sick in both ways. Like you know, it looks like this guy's obviously dead. Like you know, there's like a skull thing here. You know, and I really like how Hasbro has actually portrayed that. I'll just get out of desk the original Doom Sizer real quick. And you guys can see that it's actually, it's got this, like, skeleton type thing here. And, of course, they uh, went onto that with uh, Dark Doom Sizer. So, that looks really cool. Uh, I like this green, this, this, like, green sense that it has going on with this Doom Sizer. I think it's a really unique color for this bay. I really like the uh, yellow, the bit, the bit of, like, yellow here. That looks cool. And the gold, of course, matches with the silver. So, that looks cool. Uh, I, I do, however, think that it doesn't really match with the green. Uh, kind of is a little bit off-putting having, like, this, like flat yellow and this gold, I think it should either be gold or yellow, but, you know, that's just my personal uh, opinion, you guys are allowed to have different opinions, it's all good, and on the bottom, of course, you know, it's got force, force is cool, I like force, I mean, like, it's, it's not like it's the most, like, it's not like the most useful disc, but it, it, it still looks okay, it looks, it looks pretty cool, most of the discs have a pretty cool design, and of course, Jaggy, I haven't really heard that many good things about Jaggy, so I don't really have much much uh, hopes for Jaggy, but it still looks a, like a cool driver regardless. I mean, like, Hasbro really has put in a lot of effort with their Beyblade Burst, and I'm really happy. Here is Uber Unicrest. Of course, you guys are wanting to know about Uber Unicrest. This bay looks awesome. I really like the way that this sort of, like, it's, it's sort of, like, I've got a bunch of blues in it. Like, I really like how it's got, like, this clear type blue here, and then it's sort of, like, goes into like a darker type blue and then it goes into like this flat blue you know i actually think that suits unicrest unlike doom size where it's just got like this random gold here and then like a flat yellow um this actually kind of suits it because it's like it's like this aqua type blue thing and it looks like water almost which is okay it looks cool for unicrest and i really like how they like sort of like pointed out the u here with like they like just painted it out with like metallic blue, so that looks cool. And I like this sort of like ring thing that goes around uh, this this sort of mold of the uh, unicorn. So that looks cool. And I like the way unicorn the, the um, sort of like horn is uh, painted. So that's really cool. I really do like the design of Hasbro's discs. I like the way they paint out their discs. Discs. Oh wow, that's a that's a new name for a forged disc. <sighs> I obviously meant energy layer. Or layer, and there you go, guys. There's the uh, code, and I, I, you know, I just did a me thing again. I didn't show the code for Doom Sizer, so I'm sorry, guys. There's the code for Doom Sizer, and of course, here's the code for Unicrest. I am very sorry for not showing the codes in my videos. <laughs> anyway, here's down. 
Down, I have actually heard some good things about Down. Uh, I'm very interested to see how Down goes. I think it is going to be a really nice disc. I have not tried it out yet, and I haven't really seen many videos on Down, so I'm happy to try it out myself. And here's Needle. It's basically a defense with, like, spikes on it, which is pretty cool. And it's got, like, these spike things around this mold here. So that looks really nice. I'm very interested to see how this goes in battle. So, with that being said... Let's get into the stadium and test these two against each other. Let's go! Okay guys, we're here at the stadium. Here we have Doom Sizer D2 and Unicrest U2, or otherwise known as Uber Unicrest and Dark Doom Sizer. Let's get into the spin test of Dark Doom Sizer first of all guys, because you guys have already seen this, but YOLO. I haven't actually tested this guy out, so I'm very excited. Let's go, three, two, one, go, shoot! Jaggy tip is making it sound a lot like LF, so that's really cool. Uh, I'll just do another test spin, except on an angle this time, so. Okay, so that's some pretty decent power, I guess. So that's cool. Awesome. Alright, so let's get into the Uber Unicrest. Three, two. I hate it whenever this just falls off. It's like. Falls off. Okay, three, two, one, go. Shoot. Oh, let it rip, as you guys would say. And that's obviously the needle driver coming into play there. But yeah, I mean, like, that's really cool. I like the way this is going out. So, yeah. I'm very interested. So, let's get into the bay battle already, shall we? So, Unicrest. Boom. And Doom Sizer. And sorry that my launchers are a little bit weaker. That's just because I'm using the Ripcord launcher. But I will try and get some new launchers, guys. I'm going to try and get some new launchers. But anyway, back to the battle. It looks like both Unicrest and Doomsizer are slowing down. Who's going to win? Oh, Doomsizer ends up winning round one. So it's one to nothing. Let's go with round two. And let's go, Doomsizer. Ah! Alright, round two goes to Doom Sizer, and it is up to three, by the way, guys. So, yeah. Go shoot. And go shoot. And a first finish in round three, so that means that Doom Sizer is, is, of course, the winner with a score of four. That's right, four to nothing. So, rest in peace. Unicrest. I do want to test out Unicrest though, so I'm going to put him up against Wild Wyvern. So let's go, guys. Oh, oh, rip, 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 rip Wyvern. Okay, three, two, one, let it rip. <laughs> Anyone remember Rip Wyvern? <laughs> that was good. Okay, go shoot. Let's go, Wyvern. Let's go. Let's go, Unicrest. Come on, Unicrest. You can do it. Unicrest. Unicrest. Unicrest! Unicrest! Uh, okay, so Unicrest did end up winning that round. Let's just test him out against the original Unicrest versus Unicrest U2. So let's go. Unicrest. And actually, the, ori the original Unicrest is actually really decent. There you go. Unicrest, you won. And here we go with U2. Just plain hitting, guys. This is what you call a defense battle or a stamina type battle, if you guys want to say. <laughs> Alright, guys. So, this Unicrest is not terrible. That proves it, guys. Alright, so, hope you guys did enjoy this review. I mean, like, if you guys did enjoy it, make sure to hit the like button. Make sure to subscribe down below, wherever it is. Anyway, guys, my overall thoughts on this... I actually think it's a cool set. I actually think it's worth it. I actually think it's worth getting this set. Um, if you guys don't already have Doom Sizer D2, what are you waiting for? Get this set. 
Unicrest is a decent bay. I'm really in. I think that the down disc actually is kind of decent. I haven't tested it out with many bays though, so I want to see how that down disc goes. And it seems like Needle is not completely useless. So yes, <laughs> I would suggest picking up this set. I actually would recommend it to you guys, um, especially if you guys don't have Doom Size. I mean, like Doom Size D2 actually seems like a cool bay in general. So pick up this set if you guys do find it. I mean, like you know, I would suggest you guys pick it up. So thank you guys so much for watching this review. I mean, as usual, thank you guys for watching. I really do appreciate it. Like, seriously, guys, thanks for watching my vids. <laughs> anyway, guys, hope you guys have enjoyed. If you guys did, hit like, hit sub. I already said all that stuff. And until next time, it is Jay Barnable signing out. Have a good day. Peace.